you think of GIMP as a photo processing, photo editing software, but just like you can draw and paint in GIMP, you can also edit and manipulate photos in Krita. So here I've got a Krita file open with a photo of this handsome young lad. And we're gonna uh, look at how you can manipulate photos in Krita. One thing about Krita that's different is that it, Krita files, uh, Krita layers have an alpha channel. So they actually are transparent if you remove part of them or even use the opacity slider, you can make uh, the photo more or less opaque. One thing we can look at are the ways to manipulate colors and it's not as direct. You need to go to filters. And by the way, there are lots of different filters that we can look at. Let's try one half tone. It just makes it a series of dots like that. So we don't want to do that. Cancel that. Uh, to get to the colors, you go to filter and adjust and then down to color balance. And these work the same way as the color balance uh, hue and saturation tools of, um, of GIMP. You can manipulate the colors any way you want, but they're separate, uh, separated like that. So I'm gonna clear that. So we also have separate uh, selection tools in um, Krita, just like you do in GIMP. You have this magnetic selection tool that works for like the intelligent scissors. You have a freehand selection tool. Uh, you have different shapes that you can select. And the one I use a lot is the Belzier curve selection tool. I'm gonna go to that now. I'm gonna zoom in show you a couple of things you can do. So let's say I wanted to make some changes just to my eyes. You uh, sort of draw the outline and click along the way until you get the selection you want. And then when you close it, it becomes selected. Now, if I want to do both eyes, if I want to do more than one selection, I just hold down shift. Just hold down shift when you make the last click. So now both eyes are selected. So we could go and paint on this. We could um, remove this if we wanted to erase my eyes. I'm just going to go back to the color settings. And see what we can do to change the color of my eyes. So it's picking up. Uh, that some of there's some shadows here and I'm just messing around with the color and I'm not able to slide this over now but you could see that it's working on both eyes since both eyes were selected. I'm going to reset this just for a minute since I have a blurry photo I'm going to feather the selection just like we did in GIMP and the default is five pixels. So I think that's gonna be okay. So it looks like it's a bigger selection, but it's the selection is faded in gradually. So let's go back to the filter to adjust to color balance. Let's give myself some blue eyes here. light blue, dark blue, I could do anything I want. All right, let's just keep that. Then I'm gonna go to select and say deselect and then zoom back out. And that's how I've made 
that color change. Another thing we could try to do is bring in another photo and see how it works with um, the blending tools. Let's just bring in a photo I was looking at here of these people on uh, mini subs. So if I wanna, it, it said to insert this as a new layer, which is what I did. So I wanna make it bigger. Just come down here like this. So let's say I take an eraser and start erasing some of this photo. It's gonna show what's underneath in the layer below. If I wanted to blend these two, go to this top layer, go to layer and merge with layer below. And if I was going to erase, it's erasing both of them. If I wanted to do some kind of drawing on them or blending them, I can also do that. Kind of weird looking in photographs. Let's try the old tooth blender. It's blending it just like they were made out of paint. So it works basically the same with photographs as it does with layers of painted imagery, blending the two photographs together. When you're working in Krita, it's good to remember that the layers are already transparent. They have an alpha channel. So I started this Krita project with a photo of the sky. And then I added a photo of myself in a new layer uh, on a second, yeah, on the second layer, overlapping that. So if I wanted to take an eraser and start erasing the photo of me, you would be able to see the sky behind me from the photo underneath. What I did here was use the Belzier curve selection tool and turn myself sideways to try to get a a good um, selection. So you can see there it's selected. Then I put the photo back in the right orientation. And if I were to take the eraser and start erasing, uh, you would be able to see the sky just through the part that is selected. Another thing you can do is just hit the delete key on your computer and it will delete the entire selection. So there you have the sky shining through my profile. Now if you wanted to do the opposite, you could take this same thing, go back, reselect, and then invert selection, and then erase uh, the background using the eraser or delete, and you'd have my head floating in the sky.